I mean God, basically. That's what I'm trying to get to. Because you see, if someone, I don't know if you believe in God, do you believe in God? Uh, I'm pretty agnostic, agnostic towards it. Okay, yeah. but you, no, not really. you, you don't believe in God? No. Agnostic or you're atheist? No, I'm, I'm more on the atheist side. Okay, yeah. fair enough. I do think that there is somehow some uh, like higher thing, which is just like our rational, how we can rationalize and how we can like reason with whether something is just or good. Okay. That is independent from. But isn't that subjective? It's, it, well, yes. It is, isn't it? Because what might be good for you and independent for you might be bondage for someone else and bad for someone else. Yes. You see what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and in that case, there has to be some, again, social contracts where it's, where you, at least how I view it is, something that could be good for me that could be very, very bad for somebody else. Yeah. I shouldn't do it because um, essentially I, I wouldn't want somebody else to be doing it to me. So it's this general social agreement that you have living in a society. That's, that's yeah, but I I unfortunately, that's not the case, isn't it? I, I, no, no, it isn't. But it's, it's one of those yeah. things where, um, uh, you know, a legal authority can say it's illegal to jaywalk, to cross the street. Yeah. You know? And um, if there's no cars, I'll, I'll do it. And, and if, if a police officer sees me and wants to find me, I would think that's a, uh, that's unjust because, again, I, 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 I broke the law. You were not law. harming anyone? I broke the law, but I wasn't harming anyone and okay. I wasn't harming myself. And I made the rational decision that if that was okay at that time. Okay. Um, so as far as, you're, as far as you're not harming anyone, you would consider that to be legal or should at least be allowed? I see very Is that the principle? That. Would that be the principle that you work on or? For the most part. Um, I think that's like, a just at least for me, that's kind of a, a very neutral. It's not uh, good, morally good or bad. It's just if it's not harming anyone. Well, it can, it, okay. it can be morally bad depending on, like I said again, the person you're speaking to. For example, there are many people uh, who want to practice, for example, incest. There are people in Europe, I don't know coming from Canada, but there are people in Europe who want to practice incest. They are saying, look, we are both adults and we both consent and we are not harming anyone. So why are you saying that's against the law? Now, that might be immoral to you and me, but for them it's not immoral. Yeah. And they are working on the same principle you're working on, which is A, they are not harming anyone, it is consensual, and it is something that is that, that basically agrees with that conscience. There, there is the risk of harming the child. Yeah. What did they, what did they use contraception? You see what I mean? They got ways around that because they have they thought about this, but they want to legalize it. Now they're going to the parliament and they want to legalize it as, as something that's a legal uh, paradigm within the, the law itself. You see, this is what I'm saying. There's a difference between bringing in just a secular understanding of the world where everything goes as long as you're not harming someone because that, time, that thing can sometimes backfire and it has done in the past. I'm curious, in this, in this case where they're using contraception so there's no risk of a child being born... Then you're okay with that? Am I okay with it? Well, I'm, why? I'm not okay with it. Mor morally. Are you okay with that? No, but I mean, my main question is, so, so what is the harm in this case? I'm curious. No, no. The, their argument is uh -huh. there is no harm. And it is consensual and it is something that they both, as adults, have the right to do. But yours, your principle is the same, isn't it? That as long as they're not harming anyone, yeah. that was the problem with it. So, so, so would you agree in their favor or would you disagree? Because it's the same principle they're arguing as you. I, I didn't know this was a, a, a debate here. Just thinking about it now, I haven't had much time. I would say if they're not harming anyone, then let them do it. Okay. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, I, see, I see little reason why it would be ethically wrong. So, so you have no problem whatsoever if someone that you know very, very close and near and dear to you would be sleeping with his mom. You wouldn't have a problem with that. I would think it would be very socially strange. Socially strange, yeah. yeah very socially strange. Um, but no, no issues other than that. Like I said, they're both adults, they both are consenting to it, and they both consider it to be their right to express themselves freely. Just like the same sex marriage you're saying. Again, the same thing, because before, it was a taboo and it was considered more immoral and unethical and basically antisocial and so on. But then, gradually, people got used to it. <laughs> so, you see, when people will get used to their sons sleeping with their mothers or the father sleeping with their daughters, they will become socially acceptable and morally justified somehow.